what is up my zell bells welcome back to the channel you guys welcome back to another video if you're new around here hey what's up welcome my name is courtney but i go by giselle sims and come along on this journey with us and join the family go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos that i do post and while you're down there go ahead and give the video a thumbs up because we're lit over here okay the family will tell you period hey you guys welcome back to another video welcome to a I want to say realistic food overhaul that's probably what this is going to be called <laughs> so some of you guys are asking questions as far as like what type of realistic food do i use in my game and today is the day that i'm going to show you guys in a video because honestly like i told you guys in my previous videos it's easier for me to just make the video for you guys to come back and check it out click on links and it's just easier because sometimes i can't get to your comments right away because i am a mom i am busy sometimes and we all have different lives we all have lives and we have things that we got to do outside of youtube so um yeah and outside of gaming as well <laughs> so i have some free time right now so i'm gonna go ahead and answer you guys' questions i'm trying to get as many videos done as possible for you guys um today or whatever just so i can post them up so you guys are not waiting too long i don't want y'all to wait for you know too long for me to respond um but i do see you guys' comments um but yeah so let's get into it so i'm with my girl tammy right now so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna show you guys different food overrides that i use in my game or different realistic foods that i use in my game some of you guys are aware we're gonna go down the line okay so some of you guys are aware of granny's um cookbook right so we have granny's recipes by little boba which is gonna be in the description box down below whenever a uh, little boba updates or if we get a new uh game update Make sure you guys check out the food, um, the food, the realistic foods that you guys do have, um, in your mods folder. So you guys can make sure that your cookbooks are up to date because if they're not up to date, then you cannot even use the food. So little, uh, little Boba Granny's cookbook basically has meals, desserts, breakfast, and barbecue. So we're going to click on each one. Um, we have grilled cheese with tomato soup, fettuccine Alfredo, um, a Jocko soup, sausage rolls, cauliflower, chickpea tacos. Uh, chor chorizo i don't know if i'm saying that right tacos beef tacos chicken and waffles chicken roti mac and cheese fried chicken we got beef patties with cocoa bread you got the beef patties we got chicken alfredo corned beef hash three cheese pizza buffalo chicken and salisbury steak now i might not have everything in my game uh as far as the cookbook situation because i only put things in my game that i'm gonna use to cook if I don't know what it is or if I don't know if I'm going to eat it in real life, I wouldn't make my Sims eat it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that. So, back to that. Granny's cook. We're going to go to recipes. Let's go to desserts. So, with the desserts, we have um, espamila, which is like ice cream and cones or whatever. Banana fritters, strawberry delight, chocolate nest, mud pie. We also have the famous birthday cake, which all this stuff is functional. So, when you're, it's edible. They can eat everything that's on here. So, you say you don't want to use the base game birthday cakes come into granny's cookbook and make you a nice old cake okay for your children or whoever you having a party for um we got the winter pudding biscuits strawberry maki love heart shortbread we got some voodoo cookies we got monster brownies we got birthday cakes which this is so cute i love this one i usually use this one a lot uh we got the cheesecake brownies we got some lemon cheesecake we got strawberry cheesecake and peach cobbler okay um, my girl is only cooking level three, so I'm pretty sure like if you're different, if your cooking level is higher, you'll have more options basically. Um, then let's go into the recipes. We're going to go to breakfast now. So for breakfast, we have some uh, aki, aki bowl, <laughs> honey banana toast, crumpets, the full fry up, which I know I'm pretty sure if you guys watch my videos, I always make the full fry, especially with my girl Chanel. Okay. For Chanel's life. We got some fruit creeps. We got chocolate cre crepes. Is it crepes or creeps? <laughs> we got lemon and sugar creams. We got meat and cheese blini, lemon pancakes, strawberry pancakes, berry Belgian waffles, breakfast pancakes, chocolate chip pancakes. So like, say you want to make a big old nice breakfast for your family. You can make some pancakes on the side with some damn, with the full fried up, or you can do some honey banana toast, you know, hook it up, hook it up. But you can also mix and match with different food, um, food, uh, mods that you guys have in your game. Um, the next one that granny recipe has is barbecue stuff so you could actually cook on the grill with this stuff so we got some barbecue chicken barbecue smoked brisket and barbecue ribs and baked beans okay so once you click on what you're going to cook of course they're going to come probably to the counter chop things up 
go straight to the grill or they go straight to the grill if you don't have to chop anything up so yeah get you granny's recipe book okay granny's cookbook which is underneath a little boba but you guys will see it in the description box down below so be sure to check it out okay and also we are going to cook these foods we're going to make a one of the meals for each of these sets so you guys can just see what i'm talking about so also uh granny's cookbook has some snacks so we have cold drinks the cold drinks we have are chocolate mocha, strawberry milkshake, chocolate milkshakes, ice caramel coffee, banana milkshake, chocolate bubble tea. We got strawberry bubble tea. We got pink grapefruit bubble tea. That sounds good. Honeydew bubble tea, taro bubble tea, Frankenstein shake, gummy worm shake, candy corn shake, macaron freak shake, cookie monster milkshake, chocolate nut pretzel shake. Sounds really good too. Gummy bear freak shake and also um, milk bubble tea. So those are the cold drinks that you guys can get from Granny's Cookbook. Then we have snacks. The snacks you can get are like potato smiley faces, potato unicorns, mixed berries, sliced bananas, grapes, strawberries. This is good for like your toddlers. When your toddlers, you know, want a little snack or you want to feed your toddler a snack and it's not time for dinner, it's not time for breakfast, you know, things like that. You can make these little tiny little little snacks okay strawberries diced pears apple slices and you have marshmallow sticks this is good for birthday parties as well little events that you want to have uh we got sweet treats a sweet treat board so it has like different little sweets and that sounds good i think i'm gonna make one of those then we have some spooky party bags oh my god i cannot wait until halloween comes back around because i want to use these uh we got fruit and chocolate pie and afternoon tea so say you want to have like a little girls day out or girls day in or even like a little tea party or something like that go ahead and get you some afternoon tea or whatever and get you some of the sweet treats on a board the marshmallows all of that stuff sounds so good right now okay giving me ideas to plan something for like myself um also we have hot drinks so we got pumpkin spice latte hot toddy salted maple caramel latte a gingerbread latte these are really good for the holidays you guys like i'm gonna be using these because my sims are definitely we're in winter in my game and we're basically almost in winter in real life but yeah so i'm definitely going to be using these for the holidays and it sounds really good so yeah uh gingerbread latte we got the chai latte and big hot chocolate um so yeah those that's basically all of granny's cookbook of uh, things you can put it in your inventory you can also name it give it a name if you want to or whatever like it could be like your sims great grandma's cookbook or you know what i'm saying stuff like that <laughs> so check it out be sure to get this because it brings realism into your game for realistic foods and stuff that we would eat, you know, on a daily basis. OK, so the next one I'm going to go into is by um, we're going to do the Severinka. I think I'm saying that right. I hope I am Severinka, but um, I'm going to link it in the description box. So this one comes with a actual uh, board that you can put your cookbook on, as you guys can see, or you can just use this part to lean it against the wall or whatever, but you can place it there. So we're going to get into this one because I haven't even checked this one out yet. I just put this into my game recently because I've seen that you can get champagne bottles and all that stuff. So I'm about to get into it. So this one allows you to cook together, um, put in your inventory. Now you can cook different things, pancakes and sandwiches, soups and main courses, salads, appetizers, pastries, ingredients. So let's go to the pancakes and sandwiches. So we can make creeps, you guys, creeps with berries. So what you're going to do, basically, I went ahead and downloaded the things that i wanted to use or one of my sims to use to eat um there's other options on the website on her patreon um so you know just go check it out look and see what you guys want to download and stuff like that so we got the pancake stuff with meat but we can't use it because she's not cooking level four yet um i also got the sandwiches with vegetables which sounds really really good so then the next one we're going to do is let's go into the soups and main courses so we got meat dumplings, we got pot of beetroot soup, pot of cheese soup with croutons, um, pot of creamy soup with salmon, and we also got a set of rolls, like a little classic roll set or whatever. The next one is salads and appetizers, green salad with avocado, we got meat and cheese platter. This is going to be perfect for parties, get togethers, whatever you want to have, even if you're having like finger foods and stuff like that at an event, this is good to have. A little, uh, what do you call that a chicotery board whatever i don't know i never knew how to say it y'all never knew all right so the next thing i got is tartlets with black caviar tartlets with blackberries tar uh, tartlets with cherry tartlets with pineapple we got the tartlets with pineapple and berries on a tiered stand so like little mini cupcakes basically on a stand or we could put them on a tray 
and i thought that would be really nice too to have for like events like i said birthday parties anything that you guys plan in your game this is perfect for realism okay then we also got the tarlets with red caviar i never had caviar in real life y'all i don't know what caviar tastes like but i heard that caviar is for bougie people <laughs> i don't know i'm not bougie so it's like i don't i never had it um the next thing we're gonna get into is the pastries so i only have two pastries right now there's other ones on there that you guys can get i might get into it i only only wanted to download a couple of things because i wanted to see if it was going to be compatible for the game if it was going to work in a game cause me lag or whatever so i wanted to make sure it wasn't so the next thing is the sugar cookies for halloween okay we got some sugar cookies for halloween super cute also a pumpkin chocolate cake for halloween so when the halloween when, when the halloween when the fall comes back around when halloween comes back around that halloween season i have foods that i can use for my, my sims to eat um the next one we're going to get into is ingredients so we have meat dumplings i don't know i guess that you have to have a for baking skill for in order to cook that but you have i have meat dumplings that are frozen those are my ingredients right now um the next thing we're going to get into because i think i'm done with this yeah so the next one is get alcohol so this allows you oh my god you guys this is the reason why i freaking downloaded this okay so it allows you to get alcohol you can even go to your refrigerator and click on uh grab uh, the alcohol so we have champagne brut champagne um the golden edition champagne gold champagne rose martini bianco martini dioro i think i'm saying these are all wrong but it's okay it's okay we got the martini extra uh dry so it's different flavors y'all so we got martini fiero martini rosado martini Ro rosso then we got the wine the chardonnay wine lamont lamont how you say that lamont <laughs> i don't know how to say it then we got the wine Nabel di Montepulciano. Okay, that's okay. That sounds so sexy, but I can't pronounce it right. <laughs> we got the wine Villa Puccini. 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 <laughs> so there's different wines, and as y'all see, the prices are crazy because the the more exquisite or the more like sexy of the name or something, it just makes it higher. Like this Montepulciano. Like that just sounds so sexy, y'all. But that joint is nine hundred dollars, nine hundred dollars in the one le nine hundred dollars. But as y'all see, you're paying for the wine bottle, but you get the bottle. Okay, you get the whole bottle, so you can use this for events, whatever parties. Just if you want to pop a bottle of champagne or some wine, whatever. If you just want to get down with your partner on the Sims, okay, pull it out, get you a drink, enjoy the night watch some movies wind down with some music a back massage whatever you're gonna do yeah get you this this mod get you this food mod right now okay so yeah then you can also just grab stuff so it says grab a gift box ferrero rocher i don't know what that is i guess it's um oh it says right here Cand candies made of milk chocolate covered with crushed nuts with cream and hazelnut filling mm. then you have the pink hearts so you have strawberry belgian chocolate freeze dried raspberries oh my god this is so cute like for valentine's day and stuff a gift box the red hearts natural strawberries belgian chocolate confectionery sprinkles Ooh. and then you have the white hearts so you got the natural strawberry with the belgian chocolate with coconut chips that sounds so freaking good y'all get your get y'all this mod this food mod please and then you can just cook together cook together with your partner whatever y'all see the relationship is not good right now but yeah get you this one as well so this one's by Severinka. Severinka. i think i'm saying it right sns okay cookbook by sns go ahead and get you guys this cookbook okay so the next one this is one of my favorites that i tried before when i was playing with my girl jackie williams and y'all this one was amazing so <clears throat> basically if you guys are keto which i've never tried keto before my sister she was on a keto diet and it actually helped her it worked for her so yes you know but for me personally since i haven't never been on keto i really wouldn't use this one as much but if i want my sims to eat healthier or i want my sims to you know feel like they're being healthy or i just want to be you i want to use this one for you know storyline purposes or just to be healthy at the time or just make something in this cookbook in general because there's different freaking cookbooks okay 
different ones and i also have another person that i want to try another creator um so if i decide that i'm going to use them i will definitely update you guys on another cooking overhaul all right so this one is by balconica so this is the keto one so you have um different things keto breakfast or whatever gives you avocado and salmon salads mini zucchini pizzas coconut cream cheese keto pancakes so like it just sounds so good then we have the keto desserts we got the mocha chocolate cake and there's other options on their website as well i'm pretty sure but i just downloaded the things like I, that i said that i want you get the pumpkin stew bowl okay and then you go into your snacks we have some lemon chia pudding we got coconut pecan chia bars cauliflower hummus with harissa crackers and then deviled eggs so like honestly no i'm lying you guys this is all the options that they have on their patreon right now but i'm pretty sure the creator is still working on some more things and if you guys have suggestions for them creators that i just told y'all about be sure to go to their um patreon and just comment on one of their you know on the updates or one of their uh posts that they put up the download you know and ask them for you know things that you guys want in your game because sometimes that helps too because you can run out of ideas if you know what i'm saying nobody's interacting with you so you know and then plus that gives them more um relations with their you know supporters you know what i'm saying and you know helps them out as well you know tell them what y'all want so this also came it's a tablet it also came with balconica so basically this uh, if you don't want to have the cookbook in here you can use the tablet which the tablet basically has everything that i just showed you guys that was in the cookbook so say you don't want the uh, cookbook but you want the tablet then just put the tablet or if you just want the cookbook just put the cookbook and that's one thing i love about balconica's mod i love that so the next food mod that i use you guys is by ravishing this is just a sorry this is just a pizza mod but you can order pizza and it's simple it's gonna go right into your inventory it just makes it easier faster say you in a rush right or your party about to be over you don't want to wait for delivery I'm just gonna click on my little postcard right here that I have on my wall, my takeout basically <laughs> menu, and I'm just gonna pick a pizza that I want. So say I wanted to do um, the the just regular pepperoni pizza. Boom! I click it, I pay for it, and it's gonna be instantly in my inventory. So there you have it. You have a whole pizza right here. Okay. So we don't even have to get into that mod later so um there's another one i want to get into so i guess we could go down to this one because this one's going to be probably quick so this is a mod that i just got from pie pa piper i'm sorry pied piper and it's like a i guess a cook cooking pot like a crock pot so it allows you to make barbecue beef ribs it allows you to make the honey roast ham shrimp and ch cheddar grips grips grits this is basically base game foods but it just allows you to have you know i guess like the custom stuff as well i don't know if our frittata our frittata is base game i can't remember or chicken with olives and broccoli i don't really know but this gives you a variety of things that you can make shrimp and cheddar grits which sounds so freaking good so yeah get you this as well like i said i'm going to link everything in the description box for y'all you can cook a single meal in this one and still make the same thing Make you some lamb curry with the new potatoes. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, this is making me hungry. Y'all had to make me do this video. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> um, so the last food override food mod that I use in my game, I'm pretty sure all of you guys are familiar with this person, with this creator by Insemnia. <laughs> Insemnia. So honestly, Granny's Cookbook came out first before anybody that I know that was making food. I used to use um, Ice Mun Mun's food, also Robin by Patreon on Patreon. I used to use their foods, which if I decide to get into that, I might do a video for y'all as well with them. But right now, I'm good on the foods that I have. So, Insomnia has a grocery list, basically. This is the grocery list that help allows you to cook the food. So, you need this in your game, on your in your build, in your house, whatever. You need to put places. But also you need the tablet to shop for the groceries if you don't do it by build by okay so if you don't go in build mode and you don't get all the foods if you type in incendia and start racking up on the food and stuff in your search bar then you need to do it from here 
so this allows you to get all the things i know y'all seen this in my video before for all about the bennett's but i guess i'm gonna break it down for y'all show y'all what they got again so we have buy alcoholic drinks we got buy the bread and pasta br breakfast candy condiments dairy products drinks frozen breakfast sweet treats soups and canned goods uh salty savory snacks produce meats frozen food frozen desserts and boom so let's go to the alcoholic one first so then we have like the beers that she has on here you could buy the beers hopefully eventually she'll update this and we'll be able to get like other drinks that you'll get at the bar that they have which is the, um her custom bar yeah and i went ahead and messaged her too and will comment on one of her suggestions and i asked her for a like a small a small bar to put in the houses like our houses like you know how we have the ones from ravishing or also the sims resource yeah i wanted to see if we can get smaller bars to place in the homes because sometimes the big bars are kind of too big to place anywhere in your small homes so yeah so let's do the bread and pasta so bread and pasta we have the breads we have the cornmeal the uh spaghetti noodles flour sauce as y'all see we got the macaroni and cheese all that good stuff everything that you need to buy you have to buy the things if you want the ingredients so if you let's just say i'm not gonna get all the way into insemnia's things because it's a lot but also right now this stuff is free to the public everything that you see right now that i got is free you guys free 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 and sometimes we all can't afford to pay for things you know what i'm saying so when get you free when you can get free you know what i'm saying get it when you can okay so <clears throat> excuse me um what you would do with the insemnia's uh cooking mod you can go to my grocery list and say i wanted to make a little snack right say i didn't have the ingredients but it's telling me i need the ingredients to make certain things so say i wanted to make some cheese fries right i would need a serving of the mccain classic fries which is a bag of fries which i already had that in their fridge and i just need a cra uh, craft singles american cheese slice so once you have that all you're gonna do is go into your fridge let's go to my fridge i'm gonna show y'all because i told y'all there's the alcohol which is grab the alcohol get alcohol so yeah you can get the drinks from the fridge as well if you want to make it seem like you put the drink in the refrigerator you can do that so also um so i'm gonna go to open my fridge right i have a lot of stuff in here so y'all gotta bear with me um hold on maybe i can bring this down let me close this out why does she got the cereal in here is this good captain crunch where you get that from sis anyway <laughs> all right so let me go ahead and go back to open and what I'm going to do is show you guys. Okay, that didn't help. <laughs> so we got, I got to find the French fries. Because I think I'm, I'm just going to make the cheese fries. And I'm going to see if I got the, the cheese. So if you come across whatever you want to make. All right, we don't have the cheese. But I thought I had the French fries in here. Because that's the sharp cheddar cheese. We need the craft sliced cheese. Oh, we do have it. Okay, we have the sliced cheese, the craft cheese. We need the French fries. So... We don't have fries so what i'm gonna do is come back over here and go to my tablet and go grocery shopping and i don't know what it's gonna be under frozen it'll be under frozen most likely frozen foods um and here it is the mccain fries classic extra crispy let's just go ahead and get two of those they're gonna pop right into my inventory and i'm gonna just place them in the refrigerator and i'm gonna go back into my fridge and i'm just going to click on it and I should see it somewhere I hate that it went all the way in the middle okay we're gonna open it right so once you open it it's gonna go back into your regular inventory so we're just gonna wait okay so it says right here the instant delivery pizza Tammy purchase can be found in her inventory that was from earlier okay thank you for your purchase your items were delivered to your inventory so boom all right the fries are right here we're gonna put the fries back into the refrigerator look how little they are all right and then we're gonna come back to our little um, notebook right here and I said I wanted to make the fries so we're gonna have a little snack do the cheese fries now boom it's now able to be used click on that and we're gonna make us some cheese fries okay not sure if we're gonna make a single serving or we're going to make a family serving not sure but we're gonna see um how that works also y'all i just want to tell y'all i did take out a deep indigo's um i think i took it out I think I took the mod out, but it's telling me common code. Oh, so the fries is already done. She gonna microwave these bitches. Okay. She microwaving them fries. But, okay, so we're gonna microwave the french fries. 
Um, we don't got time to be talking to Dion right now. We're doing a, a video right now, Dion. Okay, she's doing a video. Let's see what these fries is looking like. Because Insignia's food is the bomb. So let's see what these fries is talk about. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Looking real good. Looking real good. Okay. <laughs> All right. Those look good. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do after she get done with these fries, I mean, she's probably not really that hungry. So we can just exit out of it and she can just sit it somewhere on the counter. So the next one I'm going to go ahead and get into. We already did ravishing with the pizza, the instant pizza. We did um, something of incendia. So we're good on that. Um, the next thing is we're going to go ahead and cook something in SNS's cookbook. So let's see what we're going to do. Let's just do the pancakes. I want to do the creeps. No, I want to do the sandwiches with the vegetables. So this gives you options. I'm going to go ahead and do a family size just because it sounds really, really good. So she's going to make a family size of that. Dion, come and eat these fries because I know you want them. She's like, I know you want them fries, Dion. Come and eat them. Eat these cheese fries. Oh, and also, y'all, Insomnia does have functional um, drinks like the soda cases. You can open those as well. And it's a 12 pack and it'll put them in your fridge. You will. You have to put them in the fridge, but a 12 pack. Um, also, I didn't even tell you guys too. I have this um, mod also by Ravishine. It's a cake mod basically. So we can buy a piece of cake bakery, open it, purchase wedding cakes. Let's see what this is talking about. So we have all these different options for wedding cakes and they will get delivered right into your inventory. But so freaking cute. Oh my God, this is a lot. And I think some of these are base. So cute. Oh my God, yes. But yeah, that's another one too. All right, so he's gonna eat them fries. I think I took the comp the thing out. Let me see, cause we this is not even supposed to be about them right now. This is supposed to be an override, but it's okay. Um, yeah, I took it out. So we just have the dental one and the eye care and family therapist. So I don't know how they're still sick. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so she's cooking. I'm going to um, turn the sound up for y'all so y'all can hear it because I did turn my sound down some. Well, I turned it down because it was so loud. But let's see. There we go. All right, so she's going to cook this um, the sandwiches with the vegetables. And we're just going to see how this looks. Okay, sis, let me see it. Let me see it. All right, let's place this on our little tray. Okay. So basically these sandwiches are like, basically, what are they? Like some type of, uh, I don't know what kind of bread that is. Y'all can help me out, but I know I've seen it in the store before, like rye bread or something. I don't really know. Cause I only eat wheat, honey wheat bread or just regular wheat bread. Sometimes I'll eat white bread, but, or potato bread. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what kind of bread this is. But that actually looks really, really freaking good. I actually um like that. Oh, we could put that in here. We could store that in there. Wow. Okay. So the next one we're going to get into is let's go ahead and try to make. And as y'all see, like so far, the realism is nice. Uh, Ravishings is more like kind of Max's looking, but it's not realistic looking. But I'm pretty sure Insemnia has realistic pizza in there. I just never knew how to make it. <laughs> um. All right, let's go ahead and go into Balconicas. And I kind of want to make them deviled eggs, honey. So uh, what would it be underneath of? I forgot. I think it's going to be underneath of snacks. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and make some deviled eggs by Balconica. Balconica. And yeah, we're just going to make the eggs. And if y'all, well, y'all don't know me, but if y'all know or if I've ever said it in a video, I make the best deviled eggs y'all like my family loves my deviled eggs okay so you get basically three little deviled eggs and they're so freaking cute and little like oh my god they're so cute <laughs> how cute is that look at the deviled eggs okay love it it's nice okay let's go into the last one why are y'all about to be mean to each other be insulted by Dion look we don't have time for that look I'm trying to do a video all right now we're gonna do granny's cookbook so granny's cookbook i'm gonna go ahead and make a 
since we've been doing food let's make a little snack and let's do a little hot drink because like i said it's winter time in my game i really want her to try this gingerbread latte and we're gonna make a pot of gingerbread latte because i didn't know you could do that so we're not about to pay no mind to his ass right now we don't got time for that we worried about making this freaking mm. stuff for y'all mm. okay she gonna make it mm. snacks hot drinks gingerbread latte make a pot of it can you not make a pot okay she's gonna go make a pot of it drink what are you doing girl you getting something to drink ah. she getting some water okay so let me see let me just do a single one because i don't know why it's not it's not working it's not working you guys it's not working <laughs> okay so let's just do a little snack then um let's make the little mixed berries i think that'll be cute to make um yeah go ahead and make you some mixed berries also you guys this is a mod little tray a little um it's a s'mores tray a s'mores tray by ravishing um, which you can grab and go. You can roast marshmallows on in the fireplace, or you can use the oven, the stove, or the grill. So it allows you to do those options right there. And then grab and go. You can do a family size, party size. So you'll get a party size of eight, family size of four, or single serving for five. And you just can get a little nice little s'more. And I'm pretty sure you guys seen what the s'mores look like. Girl, I have you over here cooking. Why are you not over here cooking? Y'all. My sis is driving me insane right now. She's doing what she want to do. I think we still have some s'mores from the party that they had. Uh, let me see. Okay, we don't. I think they crushed them, y'all. They crushed it. All right. <laughs> um, this is also a by Insomnia. Is it? Yeah, Insomnia. I was about to say Insomnia. Insomnia. This is the oatmeal. Um, oatmeal with strawberries and berries. It looks so good, so realistic. Like, if we get into this, hello? Like, look at that. Look at that. It looks so good. I love me some oatmeal. I don't care what nobody say. My husband don't like oatmeal, but it's like, I love me some good old oatmeal. Um. Okay, so she's not trying to make that. So I guess that's probably broke. So we're going to go ahead and just make some breakfast because it is 5 in the morning. I'm going to have her make the breakfast pancakes. And we're going to do a family size of that. Uh, they're going to have food for days, you guys. They're going to have food for days. Now, if this doesn't work, then that just means that Granny's cookbook is outdated. Or they didn't fix the updates on things and whatnot and whatnot. But we're going to go ahead and make the breakfast pancakes. And yeah. You can also get a breakfast cereal. And where are you? What are you doing, sis? Okay. Yes. Go ahead and make this food, please. Oh, my God. Um, yeah. And then we have one more that we're going to do, which is going to be this one. Then we're going to try to cook some food on this one. And, yeah, I'm excited, y'all, because we love a good old meal. I love food. My sims be loving food. We love to eat. Food makes us happy. It just makes us feel like, ooh, you know? Like, who doesn't feel that way about food? Like, food makes me happy. I love to eat. I love me a good old steak, a good old beef rib. I don't eat pork, you guys. So, like, a beef rib for me is bomb. Yeah, a, a beef rib. <laughs> but, yeah, so she's making the bre breakfast pancakes. Um, We're going to have to go to the stove. And we're about to go cook this up. And, yeah, she puts it on the pan. And she's just going to flip them damn things. Okay, flip them pancakes, girl. Flip them, girl. I feel like this should be bringing up her cooking skill, but is it not? She's cooking level four. Um, yeah, she's. Oh, it did bring it up. I think it did bring her up. Bring it up. Okay, and then basically, I'm just showing you guys the different textures of all the foods because, of course, every food texture is different. Oh, she reached level five, y'all. We need to do this more often. But yeah, this is the um. The breakfast pancakes by um greatest cookbook so like it's more base maxes or whatever for those who like play basic maxes games it just doesn't look too realistic but i honestly can say it's still there's still things that you can use in here or still have your sims eat because why not like it's just different foods and it brings more foods into you know your game 
So the next one we're gonna do the crock pot. I'm gonna just have to make a little single meal because it's a lot going on. I honestly am concerned or want to know how you're making beef barbecue ribs. Well, bar yeah, barbecue beef ribs in this crock pot. But I'm gonna skip over that and I want her to make this shrimp and cheddar grits because that sounds really good. I'm gonna put this in their fridge now. Sis got a headache. I don't understand because we don't have anything in our game that can give y'all make y'all sick. Maybe we do. Maybe I need to go back and check some shit. <laughs> um, or maybe that's just like base game. I don't know, y'all. Okay, so I guess we're cooking it. It's being cooked. Um, like I said, this is by Pied Piper. Oh no, she's just doing it now. Okay, so it's like the rice cooker that I had in my game, or like the air fryer. Okay, so let me see that. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. Um. Let me let me um back up. Oh, hold on. <laughs> let me zoom in. So this is supposed to be the shrimp and cheddar grits, I guess. But um, yeah. So as you see, you guys can make things in here. You can move this if you need to. I believe. Yeah, you can move it. Not sure about putting it in your inventory and traveling with it, but yeah, you can definitely use this. Um, I don't think I'm going to probably keep this in my game. I, I might. Um, not in my game, but I might keep it in their house. Um, but for other people, yeah, I might use it for my other sims and stuff like that. We're going to see. We're going to see. But I'm going to just have her not eat this right now and just put it somewhere. She's just going to put it down, I guess. And we're going to put this in the fridge because we just have so many different foods that we need to already be eating. So I'm going to have her sit here and she's going to eat these devil eggs because we made them. So we got to finish them. Okay. Um, also, these cookies are by Insemnia. They are edible as well. And the Sour Patch are edible. So you guys can eat those too. Your Sims can eat them, not you. And we have the Kit Kats and all that stuff. So yeah, your Sims can eat it, enjoy it, and just like... Why does she have a piece of bread right here? Hello. I'm so confused. Sister made too much food to the point where basically her fork is a piece of bread. But you guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this. I hope this was actually helpful for you guys, for you guys to be able to, you know, get the custom foods that you guys want um, in your game. So hopefully I helped you guys out. Hopefully you guys stopped this video or hopefully y'all got to the end of the video and y'all said, hmm, let me go ahead and click on this uh, description box right now and go check out all of these good old custom foods, all these edible foods, all these CC creators, modders, just give them some love, you know what I'm saying, support and all that good stuff. So hopefully you guys, you know, did so right now. But I love y'all so, so much. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If y'all did, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe and join the Zebo gang 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 if you haven't by now. We would love to have you guys over here on this side. So subscribe. <laughs> Let's chat up in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys thought. Let me know what you guys, what else? Let me know what else you guys would love to see on this channel. Let me know what other um, tutorials or uh, mods or overviews, whatever reviews of anything you guys want me to do. Let me know and I'll be sure to. Also, it doesn't have to only be like CC. It could be like base game too. Like if you guys want to see like a kids review, or um a game pack review because you guys don't have it in your game yet and y'all would just hurt. you're curious to know what it is let me know because i would do stuff like that as well i do have a lot of the um game packs in my game expansion packs whatever the kits i do have a, most of them in my game um so if you guys need you know a review on that or my honest opinion on things let me know because i'll do a video on that as well but i love you guys so so much I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.